Well, tonight, St. Paul police are renewing a call for help to find a hit and run driver. Jose Hernandez Solano died early this morning after spending 12 days on life support. Investigators think the vehicle that hit him is a 2008 to 2010 Sage Green Hyundai Santa Fe. Now, they were able to narrow it down through surveillance video, witnesses, and paint analysis from the BCA. So, how does the BCA match paint chips to cars? Good question. Heather Brown shows us the science. How small is that paint chip? That is about the size of like the period on a, a business card. It's like less than um, a millimeter. Sometimes the evidence is left on the road. In other cases, it's a tiny piece on a victim's clothes. They will search the clothing. So they'll scrape it down to see if there's any, what, what debris is on it. BCA scientist Susan Gross works on these types of hit and runs. Usually, they see one to three a year. In 2008, this lab identified a type of Jeep Grand Cherokee believed to have killed 65-year-old Jimmy Nisser in Minneapolis. Unfortunately, that case remains unsolved. What's in this dish? So this is just debris that it's going to be, you know, soil or dirt, sand. In this sample she created for us, she found two paint chips hardly visible to the naked eye. We'll take that paint chip and we'll do a cross section, mm -hmm. kind of like how you slice bread. In that sliver, you can see the four layers of paint. This is the clear coat mm -hmm. and this is a color coat and the two primer colors on the bottom. She then uses this machine to analyze each layer separately. These peaks can tell me what type of paint it is and the components in it mm -hmm. and I take that information and I put it into the database. Now what's in the database? The there's 21,000 vehicles in the database mm -hmm. and um, there's about 85,000 layers of paint. Eventually, she gets a list of 145 vehicles. That's when she uses chemistry by computer and hand to narrow it down even more. How many cars generally end up on your final list? It varies. In our sample, we finished with five. It takes a lot longer than <laughs> you see on CSI. It's not just you run it, put it in the instrument, and you get your answer. Heather Brown. So there's a lot of legwork. WCCO, 4 News. Now, while that vehicle database is huge, there are still some holes in it. So every year, the BCA, along with labs across the country, have to contribute 60 new samples. Yeah, once a year, they'll spend a day at a junkyard scraping paint from cars for the database. If you do have a question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.